All right, here we go. Question number three from our 0314 homework number seven in my lab math. And the instructions say solve the quadratic equation by completing the square. So we're going to demonstrate the completing the square technique in this problem. So normally when you solve a quadratic, you want it to be equal to zero. But when you're completing the square, you do actually want the constant to be on the other side by itself. So this uh, quadratic is already well on its way to completing the square. Uh, instead of us having to move the constant over, the constant is already on the other side. So I'm going to recopy this problem. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a number that we come up with that's going to complete the square. And whatever I add to one side, I have to add to the other. And so now we're going to demonstrate the completing the square process. It's a two-step process, okay, to complete the square. You're going to take the coefficient of x, which is 6, and you're going to take half of it, okay? The coefficient of x, which is 6, you're going to take half of it, and then you're going to square the result, okay? So half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9, and this is our special number that we're going to add to both sides, okay? So do you see the completing the square process? You take the value of b, or you could say the coefficient of x, you take half of it, and then whatever you get, you square it. And then that's the number you add to both sides. Now, why do we call it completing the square? Well, it turns out that the trinomial that you create is what we call a perfect square trinomial. That means that when you factor it, the factors will be identical. Okay? So let's look at how to factor this trinomial. If I read the signs, I can see they're both going to be plus. It's going to take an x and an x to make the x squared. And then I'm going to need two numbers that multiply to make 9 and add to make 6. That's going to be 3 and 3. So do you see what I meant when I said it's a perfect square trinomial? Those factors are identical. Now, since I have something times itself, I can simplify even further, and I can say x plus 3 squared, okay? So that's uh, the perfect square trinomial written in simplest form. And then we do need to go ahead and we need to combine like terms on the other side, okay? So negative 5 plus 9 is 4. And then down here at this step, to get rid of the squared, I'm going to square root. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And the reason I square root is because the index of a square root is a 2. And when the index and the exponent match, they cancel. And so that's going to leave me just x plus 3. Now, on the other side, we have the square root of 4, which is 2. And any time that you square root both sides, you get a plus and a minus answer. So that's actually going to be plus and minus 2. And then one more step, and we're done. We're going to bring the plus 3 over, and that's going to give us x equal negative 3 plus or minus 2. And so now I can get my two solutions by doing the plus and the minus separately. So we're going to do negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. And we're going to do negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5. And remember, every quadratic has two solutions. Those are going to be my two solutions from completing the square. Now, we do want to check that electronically. 
So using the Casio ClassWiz, we're going to go Menu, scroll down to Option A, Equation slash Function, and then Option 2 for Polynomial, and then Number 2 because it's quadratic. And then the values for A, B, and C, we're actually going to have to go back to the beginning and move the negative 5 over so that we can set it equal to 0. So we would have x squared plus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. And then we can see A is 1, B is 6, and C is 5. Okay, let's input those values. One. 6 and 5. And we can see one of the solutions is negative 1, which we got, and the other solution is negative 5. So the calculator verifies our handwritten work. And then into my lab math, make sure that I'm right. Bam! Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.